Welcome to Viking Football with head coach Bruce Barnum. As the Portland State Vikings return to play this week, Portland State going on the road to play at Northern Arizona this Saturday. It's a 1 p.m. start. You can watch that game on ESPN+. And, Coach, the Vikings getting ready. You had a bye week, so you've had a little extra time to rest and then now certainly prepare for Northern Arizona. But let's take one moment and look back at the game against Montana State. Uh, Second-ranked Bobcats beat the Vikings uh, about 10 days ago, 38-22. Uh, to 22. Very competitive game into the third quarter, into the late third quarter, and then uh, Montana State was able to pull away. Just a few quick takeaways from that game. Uh, they beat us in the trenches, Mike. You know, uh, like you said, we held them there for a while. We had a couple guys dropping, which doesn't help, you know. Um, but very talented up front on both sides of the football, Montana State is. Uh, so, you know, we gave them a shot. and Hopefully, you know, get back to health, and uh, that'd be pretty cool to see him in the playoffs. And uh, you mentioned health, and of course, that's what the bye week is all about. Uh, you get some guys a little bit of rest when they need it, certainly. It's nice to have it right kind of in the middle of the season. Uh, what are the things uh, your team has been working on both last week and this week when you've had a little extra time? Uh, we've practiced. I mean, we're trying to get a st step up on uh, Northern Arizona. Uh, who's playing really well right now. So uh, that and get healthy. That, that was our two goals uh, for bye week. Stay healthy or get healthy uh, if you're not there. So I've so got uh, most of them back, you know. Uh, try to go in there full force uh, and take on the, the mighty Lumberjacks. All right. And, uh, again, kind of the midpoint of the season, uh, quick evaluation of your team, maybe some things that you really liked, you've seen in the first five games, and maybe some things the Vikings need to get a little better at to have a shot to make the playoffs? Um, we're fast, you know, we play hard. I like how this team's playing, uh, Mike. They play their ass off. Uh, that's fun to see on all three deals. You know, offense, you know, we're clicking. Uh, defense, our eyes are getting better. Uh, and special teams, you never know. <laughs> you know. Those guys are crazy. But they're playing hard, but uh, every time I watch them, I'm like, oh, 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 you're not sure what's going to happen, but mo it's mostly positive things. So we're having fun with that. Um, uh, negative. There's never negative about my team. I, um, we lost a game, you know, two weeks ago. That's a negative. But um, uh, going into this one, um, there is no negative. You know, I'm happy about everything. There's going to be a big crowd. Uh, somebody texted me and uh, said said it sold out down at the Sky Dome. That'll be fun. It's fun to play in front of people. Um, so between that and the trip to the mighty Phoenix, ready to go. Let's have some fun. All right, let's talk a little bit about that now. Uh, the Vikings 1-1 one one in the Big Sky Conference, Northern Arizona 2-1 and one in the Big Sky. And uh, NAU maybe even a little bit of a surprise. They are one point away from being undefeated, and they have played three nationally ranked teams. They got wins over Montana, and then they got that win uh, last week at Weber State. Very impressive. Uh, what strikes you about the team? I know their run defense has been real good. Uh, they've gotten to the quarterback in those three big sky games. Is that what you're seeing on film? Yeah, I mean, uh, they're playing uh, really well right now, you know. Essentially, their head coach, they, they gave uh, Coach Ball, Chris, the castle down there, and uh, he's finally able to, to, to get some people in it. So, um, talented staff, talented team. They're playing young guys just like us. Uh, so, um, and, and they're riding an emotional hurricane. Uh, they're not looking at their record. Uh, they're playing well. Um, they had one skip up against uh, the, or the Utah team, but other than that, they're rolling. So uh, I'm hoping to go down there and uh, try to give them a look. All right, and uh, the Vikings last year beat Northern Arizona right here uh, at Hillsborough Stadium at 35-27. The, the most notable thing about that game, uh, your quarterback, Dante Sachere, had over 400 total yards of offense. He was responsible for all five touchdowns, passing and running. Figure they're probably going to have to key on him this week. Oh, I don't know. They're, wor uh, they're not worried about us, Mike. Uh, they're beating ranked teams. We're not ranked yet, so uh, let's see what happens. But no, uh, Sachere had a nice game uh, last year, but, you know, new year, new Dante. Let's see what he can do this year. All right, and this week as we go into it, there's only it's very early still. Some teams have played like the Vikings two games, some teams three games, but there's only two undefeated teams in the conference. And as I look at it, eight teams with one or no losses, so eight teams within a game of first place. That includes the Vikings. 
makes it pretty exciting, doesn't it? Oh, it's you, you want it to be this way the last game, you know, Mike. So, yeah, uh, we'll keep winning. And um, the problem is everybody's thinking that. So, you know, I like where we're at. I do. Um, coming off the bye week, I want to make sure we're not rusty. We worked on some things out here tempo-wise uh, to make sure that we can not play in is not going to affect us early in this in this football game. So, uh, and a lot of my guys haven't been there, you know. Uh, so. A half team will travel. We're, we're excited to get down there, or up there, I should say, and play. All right, you just touched on it. Uh, the Vikings had a week off. The, the one thing you've done very, very well this season is start games fast, get points on the board uh, fairly quickly in your last three games. Uh, what's going to be the key to make sure your team starts that way again after a week layoff? Well, I don't know. If I knew that, I'd be a rich man. Everybody's wondering that. Um, we we'll, we'll want to make sure. I think we're fast. i got to make sure we're fast when we start, you know. Make sure we don't put in 2,000 plays. You know, you have two weeks off. You, you, uh, you got time to think too much. So you're not going to put in a bunch of new stuff. Uh, I'm just going to do what we do and uh, do it fast and see if they can catch us. You know, uh, I like where we're at up front. Um, so, uh, again, it's going to be a hell of a challenge. Uh, we're hoping to get down there and stay with the ballers. All right, you've been a little coy with your answers today. Well, you not, pulled, not you pulled the microphone from me for the first time ever, but go ahead. Not revealing too much, and that to? makes me think of the trip to Bozeman. Uh, you had a little secret on that trip that apparently nobody knew about. I certainly didn't know about it uh, when we got there. We had a little time uh, on Friday. You took the team and saw a live grizzly bear. It was pretty exciting. The Americana Tour made a return. Is there going to be... Can you give us a secret? Is there going to be a, some some little secret on this trip down in Arizona? It's a little more of a disappointment, Mike. Uh, we had planned, I had planned, uh, before Google Maps, you know, hit me in the ass. Uh, we were going to get um, hats, Grand Canyon hats from, from Tim Boyle up there at the Columbia joint. He makes clothes and hats and stuff. Um, put them on the seats and hit the south rim, you know, on Friday when we drive up there. But... Then I found out it's about an hour and 20 minutes from Flagstaff. And that was, That's a long drive. That was a big scratch, you know. So, no, we're going we're gonna, to uh, let them sleep in. Let them practice here Thursday, get down to Phoenix, and um, drive up. And let them sleep in a little bit Friday morning and drive up and, you know, show them the place. We, we're not going to stop, but we can see, you know, Sedonia and all that. Uh, I'll, I'll give them some. We'll slow down in those areas. But, no, we're going to get up there, practice, put them in bed, and, uh, again, uh, try to get after the mighty lumberjacks all right well stay tuned because the vikings will be staying on the famous route 66 when they are in flagstaff so something anything could happen when you let coach barnum handle the travel all right portland state northern arizona this saturday it's on espn plus you can watch it at 1 p.m the vikings are home the following two weeks october 21 and 28 here at hillsborough stadium come out and see them for all your information on vikings football go to govikes.com